With Windows 10, if you want to partition and format a hard drive, you can simply right click on the start menu. You'll have the option to use disk management. This is coming up because it's almost like a brand new hard drive. You'll have the option to use master boot record or you can use GUID partition table. Either one will work to be used in a Mac and a PC as well. I'm going to leave it as is. I'll select OK. The hard drive isn't formatted to NTFS or to EXFAT or XFAT at this point in time. All we have to do is right click on it. We can create a new simple volume. If I select next, 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 here's where we can do NTFS or we can do the XFAT. The XFAT is what you want to select if you want it to be able to be read and you also want the operating system to write to it, both Mac and PC. So we'll select EXFAT really quick. We'll hit next. Now this is just one big huge hard drive. It showed up here on my taskbar because I've got Windows set up to act like that. It went to the second monitor. I'll, I'll click on it again though. Now this time it comes up to this monitor. This is the hard drive we just partitioned and formatted right here. What I'm going to do right now is delete the volume. As you've seen, the hard drive came off the taskbar again. If I simply right click and do new simple volume, hit next, I'm only going to use 300,000. I'm going to use this as the XFAT drive, so it can be read by Mac and PC, or at least this partition. Now we did see the hard drive show up right here again on the taskbar. This part of the hard drive hasn't been formatted yet. I'm gonna right click. We're gonna do new simple volume. I'm gonna hit next. I only wanna use 200,000. This time I'm going to leave it to NTFS. And this last one here, I'll leave it NTFS. That's really all there is to partitioning and formatting hard drives. If you want to, we can delete these again. So we're going to delete the volume and click on this, delete volume. And that's all there really is to it, to adding partitions and deleting partitions. It's pretty simple to do. I can go back in, hit new simple volume, hit next. And on this one, I'm gonna do 200 again. I should have said 200,000. And then on this one, I'm going to do new simple volume. And this time I will opt for EXFAT or XFAT. And that's really all there is. It's pretty simple. Some of you might be thinking that if you have an EFI partition, that you can't delete that partition using the disk management utility of Windows. That is true. You wouldn't be able to do that. Same if you had a real obscure operating system from like 14 years ago, Windows Disk Management Utility may not be able to delete those partitions. If that's the case, you'd have to go down to the Windows Start menu, scroll up till you'll see Windows PowerShell, select yes. And what you're gonna have to do is type in disk partition, or in this case, it's just disk part. Once you get to the disk partition utility, we're going to type list disk. Zero and one are the physical hard drives. The other disk where it says no media, those are my card reader. What we want to do now is select disk one. Now I can list partitions in disk one.
we can see the three partitions I did. You can see the gigabyte size. Now, if we only want to delete one partition and not clean the whole drive out, we can do that easy enough. I'm going to select delete partition override, but I have to select partition three first. So let me do that. Now I can delete partition. If you notice, I don't have the three hard drives on here. That's because the one got deleted. On the other hand, there's two of them left. But if I go back to list disk, watch this. Now where it says disk one, I'm gonna select disk one. Now I'm just gonna type in clean. As you've seen, those other two partitions are now gone. If I go back to this, let me refresh it by going into disk management. See, it's, it's basically like a brand new hard drive. That's why it's giving me the option, do I wanna use MBR or do I wanna use GPT? The choice is yours. This time we could select the GUID partition table. It'll still work. And we can go in here, new simple volume. We can put 300. Or 300,000, I mean. And we'll use NTFS. Go new simple volume. And this time I'm going to use XFAT. That's all there really is to it. If you want to partition and format hard drives to be used on Mac and PC both, 